Hi. In this lecture, we're going to look at an ethical framework referred to as the three-pillar model. The three-pillar model composed of strategy, law, and ethics. Now, in this class, we are going to examine these three dimensions of business, strategy, law, and ethics. Now, what are these? Strategy is about those decisions that will create value the business-related decisions that you make in order to create additional value for your company. Well, the law requires that our decisions follow the rules. And finally, ethics is about understanding and practicing what's considered morally right and good. So we have a number of objectives in this course. We're going to look at these three pillars of business decision-making. And in this class, we're going to focus most heavily on the law pillar. And our examination of the law in action are going to examine three areas that a business will continually encounter. Dispute resolution, torts, meaning negligence and product liability, and employment law. Let's start with the three pillars. The three pillars represent the building blocks for business decisions. This is how we go through the decision-making process. When making business decisions, the decision-maker should first consider how best to create value, develop a strategy to create value. The next step should be to consider whether the decision, whether the strategy that was reached is legal. Does it comply with the law? And if it does, then we turn to the third pillar, which is to say, is the decision ethical? The three-pillar model, strategy, law, and ethics, presents some key questions. We start with first the strategy pillar. What is our value creation goal, and how do we intend to achieve it? We then turn to the law pillar. How can we manage the legal risks associated with our strategy? And finally, the ethics pillar. Is our proposed strategic decision ethical? Now, in a separate video, I'm going to provide an example of an ethical dilemma and how we would resolve it using the three-pillar method. So be sure to look for that. The three-pillar model has foundations in naturalistic, philosophical, and sociological theories. Naturalistic theory, we say that this theory emphasizes the inherent human desire for self-preservation and well-being. Now, how does this translate to business? Well, in a business context, it translates to making strategic decisions that ensure the survival and prosperity of the company, while also considering the well-being of employees and customers and the broader community. When we draw upon philosophical theory, this pillar draws upon various philosophical traditions, such as deontology, which is duty-based ethics, and utilitarianism, which refers to consequences-based ethics, meaning we, we make a decision that achieves the greatest good for the greatest number. The philosophical theory also emphasizes the importance of ethical principles like honesty, fairness, and justice in guiding business decisions. And finally, we look at the sociological theory aspect of it. And this theory considers the social context in which businesses operate. It recognizes the influence of societal norms, values, and expectations on corporate behavior. It encourages businesses to consider the impact of their decisions on various stakeholders and to act in a socially responsible way manner. Let's look further at our three pillar model starting with the strategy pillar. Now we said the strategy pillar raises the question of what is our value creation goal and how do we intend to achieve it? So strategy acts as a roadmap 
essentially guiding a business toward its long-term goals and objectives. It involves making deliberate choices about target markets, about resource allocation, and competitive positioning. And a well-defined strategy ensures that a business is not merely reacting to market forces, but is proactively shaping its future. Now, value creation is the cornerstone of any successful business strategy. And when we say this, it refers to the process of generating products or services or expenses, experiences that customers will perceive as valuable and are willing to pay for. Now, value can be created in numerous ways, including offering superior quality, innovative features, exceptional customer service, or unique brand experiences. Let's look at the law pillar. Now, the law represents the rules of the game, and the law provides the framework for business operations and decision making. Now, once a strategy has been chosen, the next step is to evaluate the legality of the strategic decision that has been made. And then investigation of legal concerns can allow for refinement of the strategy. Now, as I said, while each pillar plays a crucial role, I believe it's the law that is particularly important because the law provides a foundation for fair competition. It provides a means of managing risk for business managers. It protects shareholders, customers, the surrounding community, all of those people that we collectively refer to as stakeholders. And finally, the law provides predictability and stability. Now, there are some other positive aspects of the law in relation to business decision-making, starting with social responsibility, our responsibility to the community around our business. And the law also provides a basis for the conduct of business internationally. Let's look at the ethics pillar. Now, some businesses may believe that as long as they abide by the law, they don't have to be concerned with ethics. You may have heard of the term corporate social responsibility, which says that a corporation may owe a duty to others outside of its shareholders. Now, some businesses adhere to a very narrow view of corporate social responsibility, believing that their sole obligation is to maximize profits within the confines of the law. And this perspective holds that a company's primary responsibility is to its shareholders. And any actions beyond legal compliance that do not directly contribute to profit maximization are a misuse of company resources. But we know that ethical considerations extend beyond mere legality, encompassing traits such as fairness, transparency, environmental responsibility, and respect for stakeholders. Businesses that prioritize ethics can build stronger reputations, foster trust with customers and employees, and contribute positively to society. And a business that keeps ethics at the forefront of its decision-making will recruit and retain top employees and customers. It will create value that will attract investors. And finally, it will help to maintain a respectable, highly regarded profile in the business community. So in conclusion, what do we learn in this lecture? The three pillar model provides a structured approach to navigate complex ethical dilemmas Ethical considerations are not separate from business strategy, but are integral to long-term success. And engaging with stakeholders and prioritizing transparency can build trust and mitigate risks.
If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in the next lecture. Thanks.